Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to be reviewing Toy Story 3. The reason why I'll be reviewing it, again, 2010 movie, so, yeah, uh, because yeah, I've been doing this for like the last two months, can it, two months, one month, I can't remember, um, where I literally am going to watch 60 films, well, less this time, around 50, but, I will be adding those films because I have watched them, I just have not reviewed them. Um, and then I'll do like my top 10 good, top 10 bad, top 10 disappointing, top 10 surprising. Yeah, like that. Uh, just like what I did last year. But I'm going to do them with different years. So I'm going to start off with the 2010s decade, go to the 2000s decade, maybe the 90s decade, any decade, just. Yeah, that's just what I want to do. But yeah, let's just start off with Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 is directed by Lee Ulrich, uh, Ulrich, uh, Ulrich. Screenplay by Michael Arnett. Uh, story by John Lester, Andrew Stanton, and Lee Ulrich. Ulrich. Uh, produced by Darla K. Anderson. Starring Tom Hanks, Tim Allen. Um, oh, God, what happened there? There we go. Uh... John Krasak, uh, Don Rickles, Wallace Shawn, John Ratzenberger, uh, Alistair Harris, Ned Beatty, uh, Michael Keaton, Jody Benson, and John Morris. Cinematography from Jeremy Lasky and Kim White. Edited by Ken Schwarzman. Um, music by Randy Newman. Production companies from Walt Disney Pictures and Pixar Animation Studios. Distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. Um, and released June 12th, 2010 at Tormania Film Festival and June 18th, 2010 in the United States. Ran for 103 minutes. The budget for this movie is $200 million and in the box office it got $1.067 billion. Plot. Andy is 17 years old and preparing to leave for college. He has not played with his toys for years and most have gone except for Woody Buzz Lightyear, Juicy, Bullseye, Rex, Slinky, Ham, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, the Aliens, and the Three Toy Soldiers. The toy, the despondent toys uh, reflect on their future and the soldiers parachutes out, a parachute out the window and leave. Andy intends to take Woody to college and puts the others into a trash bag to put them into the attic. However, Andy's mother mistakes the bag for trash and put them, in the, uh, put them on the curb. The toys narrowly escape from believing Andrew, uh, Andrew, where the hell did I get that? Andy, uh, threw them away, get in, uh, into a donation box in, a, in there, God, I can't even speak, in his mother's car with Molly's old Barbie doll, bound for Sunnyside daycare. Woody follows, uh, but unable to convince them of Andy's real intentions and goes along when Andy's mother drives to Sunnyside daycare. Uh, what am I, oh yeah, sorry about that, cast, um, just gonna, cause there's heaps, I'm just gonna do the main ones, Tom Hanks, Woody, Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear, John Crossack as Jesse, uh, sorry, John Crossack as Jesse, and he's Bethany as Lotso, uh, Betty, uh, John Morris is Andy, Don Rickles is Mr. Potato Head, uh, Blake Clark is Slinky Dog, Willa Sean is Rex, John Ratzenberger is Ham, Alistair uh, Harris is Mrs. Potato Head, Michael Keaton is Ken, Jody Benson is Barbie, Emily Hahn is Bonnie, Jeff Pingdon is Aliens, Timothy Dalton is Mr. Pickle Pants, and more. <laughs> Pickle Pants, man, what the hell is that name? Uh, Production. According to the terms of the Pixar's initial, uh, initial seven-film deal with Disney, all characters created by Pixar for their films were owned by Disney. Furthermore, Disney retained the rights to make sequels to any Pixar film. Though, Pixar retained the rights of the first refusal to work on the three's sequels. 2004, where the continuous uh, negotiations between the two uh, companies made a split appear likely Michael Esler, uh, Disney, Disney's chairman at the time, 
put plan in motion to uh, produce Toy Story 3 and a new toy, a new Disney Studio Circle 7 animation. Tim Allen, uh, the voice of Buzz Lightyear, uh, Buzz Lightyear, indicated a will, a willingness, a willingness to return, even if Pixar was not on board. It was slated for a theatrical release sometime in spring 2008. Oh god. Let's review this, uh, what I call childhood film. Yeah, this film does, it does have childhood nostalgia with me. Uh, so, and I'm probably going to get it a high school, but childhood nostalgia, sorry. Uh, I love the Toy Story films. I might be a teenager, but I still I bet, in this whole world, if, mostly, well not every teenager, but some teenagers all like Toy Story films. Like, mostly everyone grew up on Toy Story. Like, Toy Story was a part of their childhood. Just like me, I grew up, uh, especially with Toy Story 2, uh, in the first one, but mostly Toy Story 2. And that's how I love that film. I am at, this am I top 100 movies of all time. Mostly all the Toy Story films are. This film had something special that neither Toy Story 2 and uh, the first one had. Uh, which is kind of special because um, I just love these films. Especially Toy Story 3. It, it's not my favourite. But if I could, all of them will be in a tie together. Even possibly number 4. I do like these films. These are a perfect trilogy, not including Toy Story 4. I just love these films. I'm a huge fan. But yeah, the script's fantastic, the animation's fantastic, the casting, uh, the voice cast's fantastic, just everything's fantastic about this film. But for my score for Toy Story 3, I'm going to be giving it a 5 out of 5 stars percentage. I'm going to be giving it 100%. Great, I'm going to be giving it a uh, a plus and out of 10, I'm going to be giving it an 8, uh, sorry, 10 out of 10. So yeah, that's my favourite 2010 movie so far. Uh, well, I've got some other movies. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching my review for Toy Story 3. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Be a big help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.